Another multi-day severe weather event expected across the southern plains, and the reason for it has to do with a dry line. So for the day today, the core for this severe threat is going to be up towards Arkansas, extending back into north Texas. But watch what happens here. Instead of that threat spreading eastward, it actually backs up to the west and expands north into Iowa and extends all the way down through central Texas. And then by Wednesday, it takes that step towards the east. But the reason for that step back to the west has to do with what's driving this. Instead of it being a cold front that just quickly goes from west to east, it's a dry line. And dry lines, unlike cold fronts, just kind of slosh back and forth generally across the Great Plains. So what is the dry line? It's the boundary between tropical air and dry desert air. There's not much of a temperature difference, but there's a huge difference in how that air mass feels. So the dry and more dense air pushes in from the west and it undercuts the humid air, forcing it to rise. You get clouds, you get thunderstorms, and that's what those thunderstorms initiate. So for today, you're going to have those storms initiating across North Texas into the uh, Arklatex area. As we get into tomorrow, the dry line retreats back to the west and then expands to the north. And again, that's going to act as the focal point for storms. And the reason for that has to do with the difference in wind direction. Ahead of the dry line, it's out of the southeast. Behind the dry line, it's out of the southwest. So you get that low level convergence and then storms kind of explode along that line. It's not until later on in the week by Wednesday that that line is finally going to start to push towards the east and into the Mississippi Valley thanks to a cold front that comes in from Colorado that's going to move this whole system along. So our greatest severe threat as we get into Tuesday is going to be mainly from I-10 and points north and from Houston and points east. However, back across central Texas where that dry line is stationary. That's where the highest threat will be along the I-35 corridor from Austin all the way into Iowa. On a scale of one to five, five being the worst, we are going to be at a threat level two here in southeast Texas with a threat level three. But again, the dry line, a huge contributing factor to severe weather events during the spring across the Great Plains.